Hi, I'm John Hart, and thank you for coming back again to Mr. America Hart. Listen, the one dietary mistake that you may be making as you're growing bigger and stronger in your workouts, the one dietary mistake may in fact be, quite simply, that you're not feeding yourself enough. Well, John, you say, I am growing. And I say, yes, I know. But you need to understand that as you're growing, your dietary requirements go up. Your caloric needs go up. How much, you say? Well, John, I'm on a bulking program. I'm eating an extra 1,500 calories a day above what I was six months ago. That may be too much. You're going to get fat on that. I'm not talking about going on a huge bulk. What am I talking about here? I'm talking about the absolute standard of what your minimum amount of food is that you eat. So you should have a handle on how much food you need in the course of any given day, whether it's 2,500 calories, 3,500 calories, 3,300, whatever the number is. But once you have a handle on how much food you need to be eating each day, then it becomes very important that for each pound of lean muscle mass that you increase your body by. So you notice that your body weight's gone up two, three, four pounds over the course of the last four, five, six months. And your waist size has not gone up. You're lean, you're even leaner for that matter. Well, that's excellent. That's great training and great results. That's the kind of stuff that we want. But now how are you going to maintain that lean muscle and keep the lean muscle and provide the right environment for having new, acquired lean muscle to start to come on from your higher intensity workouts, from the workouts that you're doing with bigger weights now because you have more muscle, because you're a bigger body. Well, I'm gonna go back for a moment here to uh, a, a decent book that was written back, man, it's over 20 years ago now, it's gotta be 25 years ago, uh, Dr. Ellington Darden wrote a book called Bigger Muscles in 42 Days. And in that book, he detailed, uh, Keith Whitley was the subject of his book. And in that book, uh, university study, right? They actually tested him by oxygen uptake to calculate for every lean pound of muscle mass that he had gained, how much his metabolism had changed. The demands for calories by his metabolism had changed for the positive. So for each pound that he had acquired, and there was another subject, I forget who the other subject was in Dr. Darden's book, but for each pound that they gained, anywhere between 25 and 40 calories per day per pound needed to be added to that individual's diet. Now, that means that if you've put on four pounds of lean muscle mass and you used to eat 2,800 calories per day, standard, 2,800 calories per day, just to maintain yourself. The fact is, is once you've stimulated those four pounds of lean muscle mass and they've grown, you now need an additional 100 to 160 calories per day, somewhere in that range depending on your activity level, depending on that. So 100 to 160 per day. Add it to 2,800, you come out with 29 to 2,960 per day. That's your minimum standard per day, daily requirement that you need just to maintain your new muscle mass and create the proper environment ready to grow new muscle. Your body won't grow new muscle if you're not adding a few calories to it here and there when you're already fairly lean and you've gained lean muscle mass. So what am I saying to you? It becomes very important to adjust things as you go along. Just take a look at any individual. You can compare one individual to the same individual five years later. They're bigger, they're more muscular, they require more calories. Hey, how about this one? Take a look at a 140 pound man at 22 years old, and then look at a 220 pound or 240 pound man at 22 years old, around the same age range. You're gonna see that the man with 240 pounds of lean muscle tissue, you know, 
good linebacker sized guy, plays football. Compare him to that 140 pound guy. The 240 pound guy is going to require a lot more calories per day just to survive, just to maintain his current body weight. The 140 pound guy does not need 5,000, 5,500 calories per day. The 240 pound guy may in fact need 5,000, 5,500 calories per day depending on his metabolism. So the 140 pound guy is going to need maybe 2,000, 2,400, could be 3,000 less calories per day than someone his counterpart 100 pounds heavier than him. You understand what I'm saying? So let's not kill our gains. Let's create the right environment to continue to make progress after we've grown a few pounds of lean muscle mass by slightly bumping up whatever our minimum daily requirement of calories is. Where should those calories come from? Some protein, some carbs, some fats, of course, all of it, as well as some increased fluid as well. You need more water too. But I'll save that one for another day. So that's it. I'm just instilling, I'm emphasizing the need for more calories, slightly more, not much, slightly more, 25 to 40 calories extra per day for every lean pound of muscle mass that you gain, not every pound on the scale. If it's lean muscle and you can take a good guesstimate of how much it is or go and get tested, then of course that's the best way to go. But that's it for today. From my heart to you, John Hart, go get them, keep making those gains. Hey, do you want John to be your personal trainer? Get your training and diet managed online by Mr. America himself. Go to MrAmericaHeart.com. It's in the link right here below in the video's description.